Hello, my name is Darren Vallis. I'm a field applications engineer with Cypress Semiconductor. And today from the lab, I'm gonna show you how to use capacitive sensing with metal, two things that generally don't mix. So, first things first, as a CapSense controller, we're gonna use a CYHC kit-050. That's a PSOC 5 LP development kit. But any PSOC can do this using the SmartSense algorithm. This is a CYHC kit-031 uh, CapSense button board. And these are CapSense buttons. You can see the buttons surrounded by crosshatch, the round things, and then the LEDs up top that you can light up when a button's pressed. So first things first, I'm gonna reset the CapSense controller. And then I'm going to touch the button. And you can see that we get a detection of my finger. What's happening is the CapSense algorithm is detecting the change in capacitance of that button based on the presence of my finger. Now normally, if you put metal in the presence of capacitive sensing, it doesn't work uh, because it senses the large amount of metal as a finger. However, Cypress's CapSense algorithm, SmartSense, um, is very adaptive. So what we're gonna do is this. I've put a overlay of five thousandths of an inch double-sided adhesive. We're gonna use a piece of sixteen thousandths of an inch thick aluminum, typically used for industrial design. And we're gonna put the metal right over the button. And you can see that right now, PSOC thinks that there's a finger there because there's a big giant piece of metal. However, we can reset the CapSense controller. Okay. And if you press on the metal, you can see that SmartSense is actually adapting for the presence of metal and detecting the finger press through the metal, which is pretty cool. Now, it's not just detecting the presence of my finger on the metal, just the change in capacitance, because I can run my finger all the way around it. I can even run it over the button like this. It's only when I physically press on the button that I get a response. So it's a pretty cool capacitive slash tactile button that we've made here. Um, and this is all enabled by Cypress SmartSense. So something I thought you'd find interesting, and that's it for today.